Dude, Marty Broder got his 104th shutout yesterday. No one's ever going to beat that. What about Ryan Miller? Dude, he's 88 shutouts behind. So, the Sabres get to play the Leafs six times a year. Boom! You ready? Banging. Big news. What? Whoosh. Seriously? Uh, no pigs yet. What? Uh, what was he doing? Wow. Bring him on. Beautiful. You guys have been asking for a figurine video for a while, and because of Martin Broder's 104th shutout, you will get your wish. Hoping to have it up before Christmas. But in the meantime, congrats to Martin Broder on his 104th career shutout, surpassing Terry Sawchuk for the most shutouts all time. Hey, yo, Terry Sawchuk, I'm real happy for you, and I'm gonna let you finish. Overdone. Do not want. But on to the game. Leafs lose 3-2 to two to the Buffalo Sabres in overtime. And I could just make the video, Ryan Miller, Ryan Miller, and you have to understand, Ryan Miller, Ryan Miller, and then Ryan Miller on top of that. I'll try to give you guys a little bit more than that, but here's some key Ryan Miller stats. He stopped 34 of 36 against the Leafs. Miller's save percentage this year is .938. Goals against 1.89. Under 2. He hasn't put up stats like that since college. In fact, this is the second best save percentage he's ever had, including college. And this is why you can't let in softies against the Sabres. And Gustafson, though he had a pretty strong game overall, Let's in the softy. And that soft goal was from Nathan Page, his first of the year, but not quite as bad as the last Sabre to get his first of the year against the Leafs. Yeah, at least this one didn't end up on YouTube. Then Victor Stolberg ties it with his second goal of the season, second career NHL goal, and second goal against Ryan Miller. Tell us your secret, Victor! Then Ian White puts the Leafs on top, 2-1 to one with assists from Stepniak and Kuhlman, and it would remain that way until Jochen Heck ties it with seven minutes left. And Gustafsson could have used a little more support on that goal, but at the same time, the Leafs played good defense in the third. And that's what's so frustrating about the Sabres. You only have to make one mistake and they're on it. And then you got Ryan Miller and Nett, and that's why they're leading the Northeast. In overtime, both White and Boschman are in the corner trying to get the puck. Unfortunately, it gets put out front where neither of them are, and Derek Roy Potts a pretty one. Pretty, that is, if you like Buffalo. And you know, I want to scold the Leafs because they should have been able to seal the deal in the third. They should have been able to lock up those two points. But heading into overtime, you got the feeling they were going to lose because it was their third game in four nights. And I don't know about you, but their third game in four nights, two against Buffalo, one against Boston, and they come out of that with three points... I'll take it. But then again, now you look at the standings and the Leafs are five points behind eighth place Florida. Florida's in what? Exactly how bad is the East? And unfortunately for the Leafs, no matter who they play, it's not the points they got, but the ones they didn't. So next game, the Leafs take on the New York Islanders with a valuable two points on the line. Do you start Gustafson again? Because Toskala does decently against the Islanders. Unless the shots are from 197 feet away. My other question, Ryan Miller for the Vesna so far. Does he even have any competition at this point? And two questions with Marty. Is anyone going to break his shutout record? And keep in mind, it's going to be a lot more than 104 when he's all said and done. And is he going to be Canada's man between the pipes in the Olympics? Add me on Leafspace, Facebook, and Twitter. Give me them video responses, and I will see you next time.